Hi, I'm Taylor Dill, and I'm the row crop agent for Lincoln and Cleveland counties. This summer, I partnered with other counties in the Western Piedmont corn variety trials. We had 14 varieties this summer, and we invited sales reps from each company to tell you about the varieties they selected. Hello, my name is Joe Napier. I'm director of Seeds and Traits with Seed Coast. We distribute the more corn and more soy brands exclusively through three retail distribution systems in Western North Carolina, that being Coastal Agribusiness, Triangle Chemical Company, and Meharan Ag and Chemical Company. We've entered the Western Piedmont trials this year with two more corn entries. The first being the more corn 4319. This is a 113 day hybrid with VT double pro technology. It's done exceptionally well in the three or four years that we've sold it there in the Western Piedmont. We've also uh, entered a new hybrid this year into the Western Piedmont corn trials, that being more corn 4670. This is a 116 day relative maturity hybrid. It offers Tricepta trait package, giving you uh, additional earworm uh, control, as well as many other above ground lepidopteran insects. I encourage you to talk to one of the folks at the, either the three retail distribution systems that I've mentioned and ask them about the entire lineup of the More Corn and More Soy brand. Thank you. Hi, I'm Stuart Turner with Corteva AgriScience, representing Pioneer for Western North Carolina. Uh, the two hybrids that we entered in the extension plots this year, the first one here is 1464 VYHR. The 1464 is a 114 day hybrid, a very versatile hybrid with good drought tolerance and very good top end, as well as having good disease resistance, which allows it to be placed in corn behind corn or in a rotation. The second hybrid that we entered this year in the extension plots is Pioneer 1870 YHR. 1870 is a 118 day hybrid. It's the most widely planted Pioneer hybrid in the Piedmont of North Carolina. Uh, because it's got a lot of things going for it agronomically and yield wise. Agronomically, it's a shorter plant type with excellent standability. And it just checks a lot of box agronomically and top end yield, very good potential top end and excellent drought tolerance, which makes it our number one hybrid. Hi hey everyone, I get the privilege of talking to you about DCAP. I'm Ron Jernigan and we're gonna start out with DCAP 6744. Now it's 117 day corn, and it's got really good emergence and good drought tolerance about it. When it comes to diseases, it's very good in resistance of northern and southern leaf blight and above average with gray leaf spot. Now, this is a corn that you are, you can place it on your little bit below average to all the way to your very best corn ground on the farm. When it comes to 6744, it's a friend you can take anywhere. It won't let you down. Our next decal is decal 6869. It's 118-day corn with good emergence, good drought tolerance, and very good test weight. It, when it comes to diseases, very good resistance to northern and southern leaf blight, and really good against gray leaf spot. Now, this is a type of corn that you want to place on your average to above average ground. 68-69 is a good, robust 118-day corn with strong yield potential. Hi there. My name is Brenna Pence and I work for Nutrient Ag Solutions in Yakinville, North Carolina. Today I'm here to talk to you about two varieties that we've selected to put in the multi-county cooperative extension corn hybrid trial. The first one I want to talk to you about is 55 BC80, which is a 115 day double pro version. Uh, this particular hybrid placed number one in the 2019 North Carolina OVT, so that tells us that it's pretty broadly adapted to a lot of different environments and does very well. Uh, good gray leaf spot, good northern corn leaf blight, good stalks, good roots. Um, this hybrid, they tell us, is an improvement. Our breeders tell us is an improvement on the 58 BC65 that's been our number one seller for so many years. So we're excited to see what's going to come out of this hybrid. The second one I want to talk to you about is 57 VC17, 117 day double pro hybrid, also available in a Roundup Ready version for your refuge acres. Uh, this hybrid tends to be a shorter plant structure, wider leaves, making it a good fit for those wide row situations. Uh, it also has a very definitive flex ear. 
So it tolerates low populations, 25, 26,000 for the Piedmont, all the way up to 30 or 32. Uh, this, this hybrid does perform well in heavy clay soils. Uh, so we look for it to be a good fit in our soils around here. And we hope to see one of these hybrids on your farm in 2021. I'm Brian with Augusta Seed, and I'm standing in the Augusta 1065. This is a 115-day VT Double Pro hybrid that we came out with uh, this past year. A couple characteristics I like about this corn. Excellent ear flex potential. Uh, extremely good grain quality on this corn. You can see it's got a dark orange appearance. Fairly deep grain corn with a hard kernel. Not a whole lot of dent to it. And uh, definitely a corn that you would, would want to take a look at into this coming year. I'm in a plot of our new Augusta 4467. Uh, this is a sister line to a corn that we had out last year called the 4465. And they're very similar genetically, but just a couple days difference in maturity. Uh, but the 4467 has been, uh, had a good summer. It has looked really good in a lot of different locations. I think it's gonna work very well as a, uh, moderate population dry land corn. It's not going to be a corn you're going to want to push up to 30, 30 plus thousand. It's going to be more of a hybrid in that mid 20 to 30 thousand population range with good ear flex, uh, decent grain quality. This corn will have the diptera trait and very, very large kernels as you can see. This corn has nice looking, nice, very nice looking grain. So uh, if you're looking for a new 117 day corn, to add into your program this year, uh, and especially on a dry land acre, the 4467 might be that corn for you. The two varieties we're going to talk briefly about today are AV7516 YHB, which is a 116 day hybrid, and AV3917, which is 117 day hybrid. That's what you see here. Both of these will be new in volume in 2021. Both of them have excellent offensive and defensive traits and disease resistance required for Western North Carolina. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for the harvest data.